Hey guys, it's your boy Jake, brought it back here with another video. So in my last video I reviewed my M2, I talked about the 5 things that I love about the car and I ended up just showing you guys everything that is great about the car. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how much it cost me to own my BMW M2 monthly. Alright, let's get into it. So I think this is a great time to do this video because I've had this car for 2 years. I got this car in October of 2018 and I've loved it ever since. I got the car off of Craigslist from an owner in Calabasas. He wanted to sell the car because he wanted to buy a boat. I know, right? I mean, he had it like that just to go sell his car and he wanted to buy a boat. But anyway, my car is a 2018. I got it with 4,500 miles and it has warranty until 2021 of October. The best thing about this is that I did not have to pay taxes because it was private party. All right, let's get into it and start breaking down the numbers of how much it cost me. So I got my car for $52,000, I got it for a 60 month loan, and I got my interest rate at 2.74 for those 60 months. My credit score was 770 to 780 and that really helped me get a low interest rate on this car. That is one of the huge reasons why I always stress that credit is so important. I'm going to leave a link down below in my description where I talk about ways to build your credit. So I am going to be breaking down all the numbers for you guys, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. So although my credit score was high and my credit score did help me secure a low interest rate, it was also my job. My job works with this credit union and just because I work at my job, the credit union actually gave me a lower interest rate just for working where I do. Just a quick tip that I'm going to give you guys. If your job does work with the bank, I would check out that bank first because not a lot of people know that bank might give you a lower interest rate just because of where you work at. My monthly payment is $937. The interest for every single month is $7065. So only $8.66 are really going to the loan. The other $70.65 are going to the bank. And then the total for the amount of interest that I'm going to pay is going to be $4,239. As many of you guys know, the monthly payment is not the only expense that you have with the car. It's also going to be your insurance and gas, so I'm going to go over that. I currently pay $77 a check in insurance, and that comes out to $154 a month. Now that is actually a great deal for insurance. I am under my parents insurance and they've had a great driving history and no accidents. So in the 24 years that I've been born, I believe they've only gotten maybe around one ticket and they've had no accidents. So although I am under their insurance, it is under my name, but that definitely helps me secure that low insurance rate. So for gas, that could be dependent on where you live as well as insurance. You know, every state has different insurance rates, but for gas, if I drive normal, I mean, you guys seen in the last video, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to drive normal in this car. Let's say I'm going on a trip to California, you know, or I'm going to Utah or anywhere. I do drive normal, you know, I, I try not to waste as much gas just so we can get as much miles per gallon there as possible. Honestly, it only takes me about $30 to fill up my gas tank and that will last me for a week. So in the end, it's only $120 more a month in gas. Now I know a lot of people talk about their electric cars and you know, like while Teslas are cool and that I would want one in the future, you know, to save money on gas, just so you don't have to worry about putting gas, you could just charge it at home. If you look at these numbers from a glance, I mean, I'm only really spending $120 in gas a month. Pretty much everything else is going to align with how much a Tesla is. You're going to have a high car payment. Your insurance might be higher or lower and that's just going to be dependent on your policy and whether you've had a lot of tickets or crashes. Now I'm not going to say that you don't save money from buying an electric car and that $120 a month isn't a lot. You know, of course, if you could save that instead of spending it in gas, that'd be great. But as you guys saw in my last video, I love this car and Honestly, paying for that gas, I, I can deal with that. You know, I, I love going fast in it. I, it doesn't hurt me to put gas. You know, sometimes I do have to put more, just depending on how I drive. But I'm just giving you that number for an average of how much I spend in gas. If you add up the total of my car payment, my car insurance, and my gas, that's gonna equal a total of $1,211. Now, I didn't include maintenance, and of course these cars are gonna need maintenance eventually, but for the two years I've had it, I have not had to pay anything in maintenance just besides oil. I've not had any problems or anything else like that. So just oil and I mean, if you get any other car besides an electric car, you are gonna have to pay for those maintenance items. So now the question is, as you guys can see in my thumbnail, do I regret buying this car? Do I regret paying $1,200 every single month for this car just to drive to work or drive to go have fun? The answer is no, I absolutely love this car. I love driving it every single day, whether I'm going to work or to the grocery store. It makes me happy every single time I'm behind the wheel. I also love this car because I got to meet new people. You know, I, I go to meets, I have fun. Every single time, guys, I can't emphasize enough. I love this car. I have fun every time I'm behind the wheel. And I absolutely do not regret buying this car at all. One of the positive things to this too is that, honestly, my car has retained its value very well. 
If I sell the car right now, I would be coming out with around $10,000. So I'm not gonna say that that's gonna be a profit because obviously I've paid for two years, but I owe around, let's say $30,000. I could sell this car for about $40,000 right now if I wanted to. And I think that's just a great thing. That also keeps me happy because a lot of the times when you buy a car, your loan is worth more than what the actual car is worth. So this car has retained its value very well and I'm very grateful for that. The last thing that I wanna get into is that I save more than I actually pay for the car. Of course, it would be better to save that extra $1,200 and invest it, but I am saving a good amount. And as many of you guys know, I don't live a frugal life. I don't go out and just spend money and splurge it and buy everything. But the thing that I love, my hobby is cars. So I do spend a lot more money on my car than other things such as shoes, clothes, watches or whatever else that you do but that's going to wrap up today's video guys i hope you guys liked it i hope that you guys learned about how much it can cost you to own an m2 your prices might actually be cheaper unless you're going for a brand new m2 m2s are around 38 to forty thousand dollars right now so your monthly payment would definitely be lower than mine of course it would have some miles on it and it wouldn't be as new as mine was at 4500 miles but i definitely recommend you guys getting one if you do like sports cars because I love it. As always, I'm gonna leave my link to my Robinhood down below in, in the description. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and let me know what your favorite sports car is, or if you would end up buying an M2. Until next time, guys.